Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, the Brankyo Pod Lab. I know many of you have been eagerly waiting for this video, and I'm thrilled to present it. The ultimate guide to triops care, from hatching to adulthood. Whether you're a seasoned Aquarius, or new to these fascinating crustaceans, this guide will take you step by step through the process of raising triops successfully. What are triops? Triops are ancient crustaceans, often referred as living fossils. These captivating creatures date back to the time of dinosaurs and bear striking resemblance to horseshoe crabs. They belong to the class Branchiopoda, which literally means gilled feet. These gilled appendages serve multiple purposes. They aid in swimming, breathing, and even food collection. What sets traps apart is their incredible adaptation known as cryptobiosis. This remarkable ability enables them to survive extreme conditions for thousands of years by producing an egg resistant to both heat and cold. When conditions become ideal, often after a rainstorm, the eggs hatch, bringing these tiny ancient shrimp back to life. Growing triops is akin to germinating a plant seed, and yes, you can cultivate your very own triops in a home aquarium. Step 1. Setting up your triops habitat. To begin, you'll need a suitable container to house your triops. I recommend choosing a tank that holds between 1 to 3 gallons of water. Any pet safe container works, but I prefer glass tanks for their clarity and ease of observation. Once you've selected your container, position it near a sunny window or use LED lighting to mimic a day and night cycle. Step 2. Choosing water and substrate. Water quality and substrate are crucial to your triops survival and growth. Here's a breakdown of the water options. Distilled water. Contains little to no minerals. While distilled water may be surface for hatching, triops require minerals like calcium for long-term health. Without these, they will perish shortly after hatching. Spring water. Rich in essential minerals, spring water is an excellent choice for growing triops. Tap water. This can be used cautiously. Tap water varies by location and often contains chlorine, which is harmful to triops. To mitigate this, let the tap water sit for 24 hours to allow the chlorine to dissipate. Next, consider your substrate, the material lining the bottom of the tank. Sand is a popular choice, as it is inert and does not alter the water chemistry. However, I prefer mixing organic material and minerals to tailor the substrate to the needs of different tribe species. If your tribes died prematurely, low calcium levels in the substrate might be the culprit. To address this, you can add calcium carbonate, limestone, or calcium sulfate to boost the calcium levels, water hardness, and pH. Step 3. Managing temperature and air circulation. Tribes thrive in warm water, ideally between 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything outside this range may inhibit hatching or growth. However, Triops cancroformis, a European species, can tolerate cooler temperatures. Air circulation is another essential factor. While not mandatory, using an air pump on low setting helps oxygenate the water encouraging healthy triop development and increasing hatch rates. Step 4. Kickstarting the nitrogen cycle. Before introducing triop eggs, you should establish the tank's nitrogen cycle. Add a small pinch of food to the tank and let it sit for 2-3 to three days. This process promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria and microorganisms, which will serve as food for the newly hatched triop. Step 5. Introducing Triop Eggs Triop eggs are barely visible to the naked eye, and often float on the surface of the water. After 24 to 48 hours, the eggs will hatch, releasing tiny, jerky swimming larvae known as nulpi. At this stage, avoid adding food. The larvae will feed on microorganisms already present in the tank. Once they develop a visible carapace, you can crush fish flakes or fish food and add a small pinch. Step 6. Feeding and Caring for Adult Triops Triops grow rapidly reaching adulthood in just 2-3 to three weeks under optimal conditions. 
Feed them a varied diet including fish food, insects, worms, and even vegetables like carrots and celery. Tribes are omnivorous and will eat voraciously, but overfeeding could lead to harmful ammonia spikes. Monitor their growth closely and ensure oxygen levels remain high. Lifespan and Reproduction Tribes are seasonal creatures adapted to ephemeral wetlands. While their lifespan is naturally short, ranging from 1 to 3 months depending on the species, they will produce eggs to sustain the future generations. These eggs can remain dormant until conditions are favorable, allowing you to hatch the next generation wherever you're ready. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Your support means the world to me, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more BrainQPod content, and share it with a fellow enthusiast. See you in the next video.